So I'm sitting at the kids area at Ikea, very mature. Good morning guys, I have just arrived at Ikea and I'm actually very excited for this video because I have never eaten foods from Ikea before and for the whole day, so for the next 24 hours, I am only gonna be eating food items that you can buy either at Ikea restaurants or also I think Ikea does these like grocery items, so we might eat those as well. Oh my god, these prices though guys. <laughs> Because I missed the time for the IKEA breakfast, I'm actually gonna get my breakfast from the IKEA bistro. And I think this is where you get all like the fast foods and I'm gonna save like the main meals for lunch later. So they've got hot dogs and chicken meatballs and veggie hot dogs. They've even got some hot cinnamon buns. I'm gonna add the sauce to... So we're gonna put the tokens in. Wait, should I just do it? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> I love the future. That was the smallest amount of frozen yogurt ever. I think I got more. Yeah. Hey, why do you get so much more? That's, I'm a girl. that's literally a joke. Because I'm pretty. Let's do some strawberry on this side. A little bit more. Don't be shy, it's free. Uh, why did you get here on my hands? Why? You're controlling Ew. where it goes, not me. <gasps> oh my god, babe, you ruined that. This is the ugliest one. <laughs> <laughs> the frozen yogurt looks kind of messed up, but this is our breakfast. We've got the chicken meatballs and also the cinnamon bun here. So I'm going to start with the cinnamon bun. Oh my god. I think it was like 50p for this. It's so good. Mm. So these are some chicken meatballs and she put this sauce on top. I didn't really ask for it, so I guess you don't really have the option. Mm. Mm. I'm not entirely sure if I love the sauce, but the meatballs on its own, uh, pretty good. Let's move on to the next one. This is actually my first time trying a hot dog from Ikea, so I'm not really sure what to expect. This is gonna be so messy, but I actually think the bun is a little bit dry. The sausage alone is so much better. Mm. I really like the sausage. For the price, this is really, really good. It's like one pound, the whole thing. And last but not least, we've got the frozen yogurt that we messed up. Ew, we put too much syrup in this. Mm. I really like the frozen yogurt because it's not that it's too sweet, but it tastes a lot like ice cream. I'm not gonna say that ice cream is better than frozen yogurt, but it kind of is. So this frozen yogurt is, it tastes like ice cream. So I really like that it doesn't have that bitter, like frozen yogurt flavor. This is just breakfast. The main meals are gonna be for lunch in just a little bit. The good thing about filming at Ikea is that while we're waiting for lunchtime for me to be hungry again, we can just take a nap. I don't understand guys, where the hell am I supposed to go for a week? How many people do you guys reckon have actually peed in here? This would actually be an amazing background for my videos. I am jealous. You can just imagine me like... Oh my god, I have those marks. Do you have these marks? Yeah. <laughs> these are actually... <gasps> so I just arrived at the IKEA food court and this is actually freaking massive and there's all these like adverts for foods that I really want to eat like... Dime cake? That sounds delicious. Fish and chips, that's probably an exclusive one to the UK only. So I think these are crisps, chocolates, a bunch of snacks. So I'm gonna grab the tray so we can get some lunch. I'm getting two different trays because I want to try a lot of different things. Like I'm never, I've never been here. I want to go crazy. I'm basically gonna get one of every single dessert because I want to try them all. So 
I'm gonna get one of these. I don't even know what this is. This is cake. This is some millionaire shortbread, which is amazing. In this trolley right here, I've got every single food that I've ordered for lunch, and I've ordered so much practically everything on the lunch menu. I'm excited to try this. I'm kind of annoyed because I was told off for filming, but the food makes it worth everything because this looks so good. I'm actually gonna start with the chicken nuggets. This is a kid's um, size, and this is the iconic Swedish meatballs from Ikea that I've never tried. And she asked me if I wanted this sauce in it, and I said yeah, but I'm not even sure if I'm gonna like it. So I'm gonna start with the chicken nuggets and the mashed potatoes. Ooh, let's try the mashed potatoes first. Okay, mashed potatoes are pretty good. They're a little bit dry. I'm gonna try the chicken nuggets now. These chicken nuggets are better than McDonald's ones. These chicken nuggets are worth the trip here alone and I haven't even tried any other of the hot foods. They're so good, right? They are a little bit dry, but um, the flavor is incredible. This is the one that I'm the most excited to try, the meatballs, because I've heard so many people say that these are amazing. And this whole thing costs like four pounds, maybe. So this is what the meatball looks like. It doesn't taste like beef. I'm gonna make sure this next one is really coated in this sauce, because I'm pretty sure I haven't tasted the sauce yet. Nothing. Nothing has got a lot of flavor in this. Mm. That's a lot better with the sauce. This is actually really good. I'm gonna dip this next one in the jam and the sauce and everything and in the mashed potatoes. This is gonna be like a super bite. I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to eat it, like that makes it so much better. This is actually really, really good. I also just realized that I haven't really drank anything. So we've got the raspberry drink, then we've got fish and chips. This must be like a specific like UK I IKEA food. I'm not gonna pretend like I know what this is, I never eat healthy. But I think it's like grain salad with some salmon. So this will be my part two of lunch and everything that I won't eat here, I will just bring it home for like dinner. I'm gonna start with the fish and chips first. I'm gonna dip the chips in this like white sauce. Oh my god. That is the best sauce I've ever had in my whole life. This sauce alone is worth the visit here. Actually, this is the best thing I've tried ever since I arrived. Mm. I love that. I'm just gonna hold the fish like it's a giant chicken nugget and just dip it in the sauce. Oh my god. So I haven't really tried the drink yet. It's not very sweet. I was expecting it to be very, very sugary. It'd be nice to have this on sale everywhere actually. It's a, it's a different drink. It doesn't taste like anything else. Okay. It tastes healthy. Not the most delicious thing that I've ordered, but... I'm gonna cover the salmon in the sauce because this is the only way this is going to taste good. <laughs> that does not taste healthy, that's too good to be true. No doubt the best thing at Ikea is the sauces. This sauce with the fish is even better than the one with the fish and chips and it's a different sauce but it's so good. I think I might even prefer this healthy fish to the fried one. I practically took one bite of everything and I'm already so full, but we're gonna make it through. We're gonna get to dessert, which I think is gonna be the best part of this whole video. So let's see what else we call. This looks incredible, but I'm gonna have to carry so many things home because there's no way I can finish all of these desserts. Wow. So this is the millionaire shortbread. You like this one, right? Yeah, it's so good. Oh my God, that looks incredible. <laughs> It's like caramel with chocolate and cookies. 
Oh my god. This is hands down the best dessert I've ever eaten in my whole life. This is like, wow. Oh my god. So this is the rhubarb pie. I don't think I like rhubarb. <laughs> You probably don't. I've never realized, but I don't like rhubarb. It's just very bitter. It is like, it's weirdly bitter. It's a very strong flavor as well. So like, if you love it, you probably love this. Like the actual pie, the consistency is incredible. I just don't like the flavor. You meant to have that with the cream though, babe. With the cream, I don't, I prefer it like dry. I mean, I don't eat cream, so I don't know. Should I put the cream on top? Like that? I mean, this is an apple pie, you can see. I don't think it's very Swedish, but I'll still give it a try. I think I prefer the rhubarb pie to this. It's just that the apples are not like very well cooked. And I prefer when an apple pie is like soggy almost. Um, jelly? You yeah. You drink the jelly? I'm gonna drink the jelly. <laughs> drink the jelly. I can, can drink this. You can't drink jelly, because it's jelly. Oh yeah, babe. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's gonna be dried fruit in this one, and I hate dried fruit, so I'm not gonna like this. Okay. So that is hands down the best one. It tastes like coffee, and like caramel. Mm. It tastes like a Bath and Body Works candle. Mm. So this one is a little bit more plain. This is a lemon drizzle cake, no, right? Just a lemon cake. Oh, just a lemon cake. Mm. It's a good lemon cake. Have you ever tried it? It's good. It's good. <laughs> As usual, I saved the best for last. This is the dime cake or dime. How do you pronounce it? Dime. Dime. So, wow. You haven't got a lot of dime pieces. Do I not? No. Like Should I get another bite? Yeah. All right. It doesn't look as pretty, but this one is gonna taste a lot better. Mmm. It's crunchy. Like yeah, it's dime. Oh my god. <laughs> That's so good. I like mine. Look what I did. I took all the dime off. Oh my god. I, I love that. Mm. Easily my favorite dessert. That was amazing. I really enjoyed that. I actually practically liked all the desserts. There was not one single one that I hated. I'm gonna wash my hands and next time I see you guys it will be dinner time. So for dinner I thought that we should bring home some snacks because I've still got so many leftovers from lunch so I am going to fill this up. You can actually get the meatballs that we had for lunch frozen and just make them at home. This is such a good idea. I love that. Look at all of these like Swedish type of cookies. Oat biscuits. Mm, that sounds too healthy for me. I might bring this one like a souvenir from Ikea. Like Ikea shaped cookies. <laughs> Oat pastry with cocoa and coconut. That looks so good. I'm gonna bring one of these. Maybe not this one. Okay. They actually sell all the sauces that I loved for lunch, all these like white sauces. I'm actually gonna bring some of this, not for the video, but just for me. I am shocked, guys. You can actually do your grocery here. They sell practically everything here. Look, this is fish. They've even got pizza. I should do a whole separate video and just like Ikea supermarket items. Let me know if you guys wanna watch that. Give the video a like if you want me to try all these like frozen foods, like the pastries and the pizzas. It's a little bit later and I'm back home and I'm actually not too hungry because I brought home the leftovers and I didn't even eat that yet but I also bought a lot of these grocery items and I think it'd be a shame if I finished this video without trying them on camera essentially we're gonna be having some Swedish snacks for dinner not very healthy but that smells like coconut and like chocolate but also like coffee a little bit that looks beautiful I hope when I bite into this it's gonna be as delicious as I'm imagining in my head I expected like marshmallow, 
That is even better than I imagined. It kind of looks like cake, but in the middle it's actually like this coffee wet like mixture. It's kind of unlike anything else I've ever eaten. Like Swedish people, if this is Swedish, know how to eat like some good sweet snacks. Here we've got some crisps from Ikea. It says potato crisps with sour cream and onion flavor. So, sounds pretty good. Please do not disappoint me. I mean, it doesn't smell the best, not gonna lie, but that doesn't mean anything. Potato crisps always smell like kind of weird. Oh my god, that is so good. I love them. Arrange my funeral because these are the best potato chips I've ever had. This is not really dinner material, but would it be an IKEA video if I hadn't tried the Swedish fish? I don't think I've ever tried Swedish fish before. It's like these gummy fish um, in different colors. I'm gonna try a red one. Ugh. I'm colorblind. I hate that. Oh wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is amazing. I think it's cherry flavored, the white one. It's really good. If I hadn't eaten so much food today, I would eat this whole bag, honestly. This is called Sotsak. I don't know, I'm not gonna try to pronounce it, but this is some like chocolate like treats. I think these are marshmallow in the center. Oh my god, the smell coming from this box. Ugh, that's what dreams are made of. So this is what it looks like. I kind of want to bite into it and then show you the metal. Oh my god. I hope you can see how soft and light that marshmallow looks because that's exactly how it tastes as well. Mm. Oh my god. It's so sweet but so so good. Honestly, I've actually had way too much food today. I cannot put one more food item in my body, but I love this sweet treat. Keeping it super real with you guys, I never really thought about IKEA food before. Like, it's not something that I really wanted to try. I really only did it for this video. I didn't think it was gonna be as delicious as it was. I love the snacks from the supermarket. I love the foods from the restaurant. Honestly, overall, I would 100% recommend going to Ikea if you guys have never been. The food was really good and there's just so many options. The price at the restaurant, the price at the bistro, I mean, you can literally get one hot dog for one pound, which is insane. I've actually had an amazing day, so I really hope you guys enjoy that. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a like. Only if you liked it. If you didn't like it, go and try watch something else. If you also like my videos in general, please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. I promise you I've got a lot of exciting things coming up, so I really think you guys are gonna like it. I would normally end this video by saying that I'm gonna like go and eat something, but I'm not gonna eat anything today. I'm gonna go straight to bed because it was so much food, so much sugar, and it was worth it. So I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye!